Hey, my friends, it's Big Stu here. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Today we have two boxes, booster brick style. Okay, first off, let me show you my let me this over here. My Venom shirt we got from the last box. Venom across the top, and he's he's dropping down. So, raise my arms, trying to raise up my shirt a bit. I know, but anyways, so it's comfortable. And uh, this is what I got from the Loot Crate Invaders box. Okay. I talk about this all the time. First Monday of every month, Booster Bricks allows you to order a mystery box. It's $25 a box, includes the shipping. And usually it comes within one week. And and it has three bags in it. And uh, But, you, but they're uh, three individually sealed bags blue bags that you can't really see through it and you can either order one box at a time or you can order three or you can order five and they get a little cheaper I think if you order three it's like seventy dollars if you order five I think it's a hundred fifteen dollars um, instead of twenty five dollars a box in, as a single one seventy five dollars at one time seems a lot to order three boxes of mixed pieces so I usually order one myself at least every month then every so often or every other month I try to get my send order one for me so I can get two boxes that month it just depends how much I have a lot going on so I um, might do the same in November I don't have a, a lot of uh, subscription boxes I don't think I'm getting in November so I might go ahead and do two more again next month also but anyways so I'm very excited about these I've been wanting um, little mountain pieces I've been using for my Titans Tower and I'll give you an update on that in a few minutes when we get done with this. So, I do not have... I'm looking here. Okay. I guess I'll just drop them in. I didn't bring a little container to drop them into that I can see that I can reach real quick. So, but anyways, you open up this box and you always get a note from them. You always get a little sticker. I see it's down here. You always get a little booster brick sticker and a little note thanking you for getting the box. Okay, see, they come in these types of boxes, uh, bags, and they're always big pieces, and so you get your money's worth. It's not tiny little pieces or anything. Okay, so this is first box. Let's open it up with scissors. Let's move, let me move this over here. I really thought I had something here. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm going to go out of camera for a moment as I dip down to get something that I think I can use. Okay, I dumped something out. Okay. Very unprofessional. Very sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's open this up. I have a long base or something that comes to the tip here the bag. Each each box has been giving me about 70 pieces, 75 pieces, it seems like, in each box. Okay. And the idea is kind of some of the items that we got in it. Okay. So I got a long base that has some holes in it, some, some doors. Uh, maroon base, kind of a corner window, which is kind of cool. I guess you do it like that. Interesting. So uh, I guess that's a Lego Friends or something. Got a door. Always get doors. Got a little garage door type of thing. Part of an airplane underneath, I guess. Another door, red door. Please sign. Got three windows. They're all like in a door, but they're three windows. Size of a door. I've been getting a couple of these already. And you always get a couple little wheel pieces. I got three this time. Little disco ball type of a thing. I think this is was for part of this space. Um, stuff that they've done, another base plate. Then even got this at the 
bottom of an aircraft where you would attach wheels to. Um, so I got this first bag, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so about 17, 18 pieces it looks like. I didn't show you everything. Some of them were just the same thing or very small windows. Okay, so that's that one. So let's pour it into this box. Okay. Now this bag here had something stuck to my finger here. A little sticker. Okay. Let's see what we got in this bag. Yeah, I put all my garbage in one bag. How about that? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Some pieces here. I know it's kind of hard to show. Let's see. Man, this is thick. Thick base plate. Some stairs. Prison door. Piece of a mountain. This is what I need. It's smaller than my other mountains. I've been getting grays. Bottom of a boat, maybe? Uh, windshield. A little tiny window. A gate, maybe? Um, red three window thing. Another little window. And a round... I guess this would be part of like a skateboard thing for skateboarding. So, so this and then car piece, another or wheels, not car, like little wheels. So I got not very many in, in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pieces were in and were in this bag. So let's pour that in here. See what we got in this one. Again, they they advertise that none of the bags are the same, so none of your box are the same stuff. And I'm getting a lot of base plates. This bag seems to be a lot of base plates. Okay, so black, of course yellow, beige. Beige is a little larger than those. Okay, got another thick one of these, kind of a dark gray. Got a smaller green, a smaller netting one, wire one, then a big green one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this only had seven pieces. The other one had about 13, that was 20. The other one was about another 17, 20, about 37. So there wasn't as many pieces in this particular box. But these are a lot of things I can use at base plates I can always use. My windows and my doors. And there were some things, too, that I, I thought I can use the slide, definitely, or the ramp, I guess you would say. It's more of a ramp that I can use for... I dropped my scissors, and they almost landed on my foot. Hang on a minute. Okay, fell underneath. Let's see what we got here. Okay, again, it's going to be three bags. Again, note and sticker. Okay, let me put those over here. Three bags. Now there's a box here so I can put them in there. Okay. This feels like base plates. So uh, let's do this first. Okay. Okay, you got big yellow, blue, blue, light blue, dark blue, turquoise, a round one, and then a gray one. Okay, so base plates was a seven, two, three, four, five, six this time. Six base plates. So we got one bag of base plates, and maybe that was a theme that there'd be at least a bag of base plates to everybody. 
because each box had base plates, but they just were different kinds of base plates. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay. Okay, like a trap door, round, bottom of a boat. Oh, I always need these, a little mountain. The side of a wall for a castle or something. Bottom of a helicopter. Round cylinder. Cone shape. Uh, wooden door. Wheels. Uh, rims kind of for the where the heels would go wheels would go into. Got another one of these for our castle end. Another one of these like for the wheels to go into. A little tiny piece that was stuck to that. Piece of greenery. A uh, green base plate. Little wall kind of looks like from a police. Bottom of a vehicle for a car. Kind of little trap door thing. I don't think that's not that size. And glass cylinder. I think that's about it. Some double pieces here. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Looks like 16 pieces in this one. Okay. So we're at like 22 pieces so far. 6 and 16. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay, got cockpit of, uh, of an airplane with the window coming out okay this wire stand another one of these little netting bottom of a plane again a hood to a car little ladder little piece I needed one of these. I need a, actually a couple of these. Like the other bag had the black ones. This is kind of a white corner for a building. Bottom of a car. And I actually got the whole bottom of a one piece of a car piece. That probably could be turned into something Batman related. Easy with the colors. Uh, this is the bottom of a, of a piece for, uh, dimensions, Lego dimensions. Somebody that shoots with a, with a slingshot. I don't know who that would be. I have to put it in my game and see, but that's a game piece right there, a character. Now we've seen these, this, more greenery, long piece, and... I think I showed you one fence. I got, I mean, one ladder. I got two ladders, brown and black. Another wheel thing. So this had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, this little piece makes twenty. I got a couple little pieces that were stuck onto some of the bigger ones. And normally we don't get really smaller pieces. So this had twenty. So twenty-two plus twenty, about forty-two pieces in this box. So this month, both boxes were less than the 70 amount that we normally get. So, but they're unique pieces. I enjoy them for 25, and I'm very happy uh, for that. And uh, it's something bothering me there. Anyways, so um, I think it's I think it's worth it. Um, but you have to decide if you're a Lego fan. You could also I might do it. Um, maybe I might do it next month. I'm not sure yet. But they always have a thing if you spend another, I think it's $20. It could be more than that. But you can get another, they call it, what do they call it? A thousand pieces of Legos. Is it a thousand pieces of Legos or a hundred pieces of Legos? I think it's a thousand pieces of Legos. For maybe it's for $50 or $40 or something. Um, you can add to your box. So maybe instead of getting double boxes, I'll try that big bag and we'll see what we get with that and everything. So, but anyway, so I hope you uh, enjoy this very much. And uh, 
and all, and uh, and tell me what you think of it. As far as this is more not my comic stuff. This is more Lego people, unique things, and this is what I like because you get interesting, you get interesting things. Excuse me, you get interesting things, pieces that you don't see that often. I, I have been seeing a lot of underneath boats, underneath airplanes a lot lately. Um, one box, two boxes ago, two months ago, we almost got a complete airplane set and and everything. So uh, this is kind of cool that it's all together. Um, so getting a lot of bases. So I use a lot of bases and things that make. Oh, uh, let me get it over here. I'm going to go off screen for a moment. And I'm going to tell you about uh, my Lego. What I picked up for Teen Titans Tower that I've been working on. Let me put this over here. Give me one moment off camera for a second. I apologize. Hang on. Okay, here I am. Okay, I picked up a couple sets for my uh, um, Teen Titans Tower. So I've been buying some friend sets. Normally I don't buy friend sets, but I've been buying them lately for my Teen Titans Tower. So I got a little, I don't even know who this girl is. M is Deluxe Bedroom. So it's more art based kind of a uh, room, sculpture and stuff. If you kind of look at the sculpture, it kind of looks like it could be Robin um, and everything. So, but anyways, so this is, I'm gonna use some of these pieces to build bedrooms for the, for the girl, Titans. Um, pick this up, and I'm going to be using this parts of this mainly. This part I'm going to use for my video game room. It's kind of hard to see. Let me show you this side. And these these are creators. You can build them three ways, and this kind of gives me a video game area here. So I'm going to kind of do that. Maybe use a basketball hoop a little bit too, and all that. So I'm going to piece some of these pieces and use that for entertainment section. And then I got this. And mainly for the kitchen type of stuff in the background. And all, it's a little restaurant, um, drifting diner. Restaurant, Lego Girls. So I got that. And then I needed a floor um, um, for a uh, um, for medical and stuff. And so I kind of picked up this from Hoff, Hoff Medical Chamber. And picked this up. I can use some of these pieces. And I have some other medical stuff I can add to this, but this will be kind of based in my thing, and I will be using this too on a level. So I might actually have to. I have built already. My Titans Tower is five levels, and then three across the top. And I have, and I have built already. Well, I mean, it's all been built, but as far as now building the different levels, what I want on each level, I've already built a, a swimming pool level. I got a medical level. I got the dining, eating level, and I got like a start of a training level, and and then I'm going to be built on the top level, where I have three across, the middle part, I want that to be more recreational, that'll be the TV, video games, that'll be some of those game things from that one, um, a pool table, some things like that in the center, and then each side will be guys bedrooms girls bedrooms across the top and on the very top i'll put a ship and um um and maybe a uh, um hot tub or something kind of fun up there too maybe a little grill or something um but i was talking i want to make i think i'm gonna have to add to this because i also want to do a meeting room that kind of has like the computers and all that type of stuff where they're a monitor room or a computer room and also a big table, like a meeting hall room type of thing with all that around it. So I know I want to do that level. And then I also have like a garage level that I wanted to tinker and do things. That cyborg is building, making things. And maybe a way for him to power himself up too. Something like that in that level. And then of course a training room level. So I don't know. Um, I'm already five high basically. So I might need to build another at least one more level or two more levels to get the things that I want in it. So I'm not sure yet um, unless I condense some things, half something, half another thing, but I don't know. So so maybe I might skip the garage level. I'm not sure yet, but I really am enjoying doing it slowly 
and uh, so I'm going to put it together probably and maybe I'll put a video on Facebook and uh, and everything so we'll see um, what I have on there put some pictures on my Instagram and and see you know um, what it does and how it's looking because if I make it too tall then I'm going to have to make it wider and I don't want to make it more than three wide at the top so I'll have to say it goes I really need at least one more level on it and my Avengers, I'm looking at it off to my side here. My Avengers is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels. But I made several of the levels really taller. Each each room taller than what they needed to be. The bottom ones, the first three bottom ones, level, or actually my first four levels, were really much taller. And they almost could have been, two of them together would make three levels almost. And uh, so that was my very first one. I was stacking and, and doing it. I wanted to give it plenty of room to go in with my fingers, my hands, and and build things to, and add to it and everything. So with Titans, I'm not planning on doing that. I'm trying to get it all set up right, so I don't really need to touch it after it's done. So I made it a little lower and stuff. Plus, I couldn't go as high as this. This goes all the way to my ceiling. Those who have seen my Avengers Tower already. So, but anyways, next thing I am looking forward to doing is is um, picking up the Lego Dinosaur Manor from Jurassic World, and I went to buy that the a um, couple weeks ago, and and it used to be ninety nine dollars for the longest time, and then all of a sudden it went back up to one twenty nine one hundred thirty dollars. So. It was on, I guess, a rollback at Walmart. So I'm waiting. Hopefully, it'll go back down to $99. It might be on sale, stay at that price till after Christmas. I don't know. Um, but I really need that to put up over my shoulder here. I wanted to take the frame of that and adjust and change it around a little bit, but make it my Wayne Manor. And that would be finishing off basically my back cape pretty much, my Wayne Manor. So, But I don't want to pay $130 for that. So I had the money, so I went ahead and bought these four sets. And spent about, I don't know, about $65 on these four sets. And so I can use that towards my uh, Titans Tower and, and the pieces for other things down the road. Uh, but anyways, so that was, you know, my intentions. I just, seen it for $100, it was really hard for me to want to spend another $30 now and stuff. And, I, you know, I want to hit myself in the head because... You know, it just went up. I could have bought it. It was a week before that. It was $99. So I could have gotten it, you know, a week sooner. But I kept saving my money up slowly and uh, and everything. I try to always, when I'm buying stuff, I try to always keep $50 away. Always. And so if I come across something or whatever, I try not to spend all my fun money. I always try to save $50 reserve fun money. And, you know, and so... So, I could have gotten it the week before, but I didn't want to spend all my money, then have nothing. And so, but I got these other sets and I needed them anyways for my Titans Tower. So, I'm happy with that. They've been four fun builds. Eventually, I'm going to get it. If I have to eventually pay the 130 I will, because I definitely need it. And I'm looking forward to it. And as far as the stuff inside, I'll just gut it out. I just need the frame on the outside. And then, you know, I can use those other pieces for other things. Um, and all, but so, but that might just be something I'll save and get myself for Christmas, um, and everything because I don't think it's going to go anywhere until after Christmas. Um, in January, new things will come out. That set probably will get clearance down, but sometimes the big sets don't last long enough for clearance down because they don't keep a lot of them in the store because they're so expensive, anyways. And when they get down to it being low to go on clearance, they don't order them, so a lot of the bigger sets run out and just stay empty. And they never even make it to clearance. So, but that might be my big Lego set. Every Christmas I always get a big Lego set. So, that manner might be my big Lego set this Christmas. Anyways, so, I might be boring you. Unless you enjoy building Legos, you'll know what I mean. You'll understand my predicament. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you just think I'm a super geek. And you probably have already turned off my video. <laughs> Anyways, but thanks for hanging out with Big Stu. Um, next week our video uh, we will be uh, talking about uh, we'll be doing our DX invaders and then we also have our spider-man so I'm either going to do the DX invaders um, box from Loot Crate or I'm going to do the spider-man good and gears box 
I'm gearing goods, I guess, good and gears box um, from the uh, Marvel, which is also from Loot Crate too. So I'm either going to do one of those two boxes the next two weeks. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do next. But that's what we have, and then hopefully in the third week, um, we'll be doing our Star Wars. So, but anyways, I'll catch you later, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope I wasn't too boring, too geeky. Um, I love Legos. I hope to share things I love, building the creativity and the fun of building things and and stuff. And uh, and I hope that shows. And I hope I encourage you to go buy Lego sets and just to build it. Or buy a, a, you know, a mixed box and you build your own thing. But anyways, I will catch you later, my friends. Big Stew out. Catch you next week. Bye. Now, next week, I don't think I'm going to have a new shirt. I'll have to pull out something old. And uh, because, obviously, there's no T-shirts in this box. But anyways, so you've seen all my three Venom shirts. So I hope you enjoyed them. And I will catch you later, my friends. Bye.